Hi, we're here with Mike Kaufman, who's a leading attorney in the greater Cincinnati area, who has a specialty in the area of uh, alternative dispute resolutions. We're asking Mike to explain a little bit how that process works in terms of traditional divorce versus alternative methods. So Mike, you know, one area that I'd like to explore a little further is the distinction between collaborative law and, and mediation, what, what the distinction is there. I believe the main distinction is when the attorneys become involved. In, in collaborative law, the attorneys are involved right from the beginning of the process. Uh, the parties have to select who their collaborative attorney is going to be, and that selection is a very important decision. People hold themselves out to be collaborative attorneys, but they haven't been trained collaboratively, and they don't truly practice in a collaborative style. So I will second that point that he just made. So it's very important. Right. Um, once attorneys have been selected, uh, then we normally schedule a series of four-way settlement conferences. Four-way meaning uh, husband and wife and the two attorneys, and we get uh, together at somebody's office, we get to sit down at the negotiating table, and we discuss the various topics that need to be agreed upon. So if there's children, um, uh, and certainly if there's uh, property, assets and liabilities of the marriage. Right. At the beginning of that uh, process, before we start those conferences though, an important aspect of collaborative law is we sign a collaborative law agreement. The significance of signing the agreement is that if someone were to pull out of the process, the attorneys cannot represent them in a subsequent divorce action. And the reason that's important is because we always hit rough patches during any negotiation process. And if somebody uh, had to hire a new attorney, uh, find a new attorney, bring them up to speed. The collaborative contract also requires you to wait 30 days to file for divorce unless there's an emergency. That often gets people back to the negotiating table, gets them through that rough patch, and gets them across the finish line. So it's a very important aspect of oh, collaborative law. Now how about mediation? How does that differ? Mediation, the attorneys are not generally involved at the beginning of the process. The, the uh, husband and wife select a mediator. It's an independent third party. They do not represent the husband or the wife. They are a neutral party. Um, the, uh, they come to the mediator's negotiation table, and it's usually without attorneys. So in the collaborative law process, attorneys are involved in the negotiation process, in mediation they are not. Right. The husband and wife, with the assistance of uh, the mediator, a good mediator has skills in productively leading husband and wife through those children topics, through the property topics that need to be discussed, and they can, uh, if they're good, they keep the discussions productive and efficient, and husband and wife negotiate right. their own deal. Exactly. Once a deal has been struck, then it gets sent to the attorneys. And the attorneys are simply drafting the contracts based upon the agreements that uh, have been reached through the mediation process. So the, um, essentially the hard work has been done with the, uh, the two parties and, and the mediator, and the, con uh, the attorneys are only used to draft contracts. Okay. That's an important distinction. I think some of these uh, alternative dispute resolutions kind of get muddled, or the subtleties get muddled, but they are very distinct, different ways of, of doing it. But I think, would you agree that both of those, whether it be collaborative or uh, mediation, are probably preferable for most people over the traditional litigation model? There is no question about it. And the common thread being you get more control, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. In summary, I would say if, if you want an attorney involved through the negotiation process, right. collaborative law is probably the route to go. If you feel like you're on an even playing field negotiating with your spouse, then mediation may be a fine option as well. Terrific. They both beat court. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate your time. Thank you.